Hello, this is Haiku here for some standard popper. Uh, pretty fun uh, format uh, since it's very, very unexplored. Um, and uh, the only thing that we really have to go off of is the fact that standard didn't rotate this year. So we can kind of use the, the last standard results uh, to go off of. Um, so I'm playing a similar deck. Um, so since the last standard popper tournament, um, Ren's Resolve was printed, and 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 then now with Woe we have Torch of the Tower and Hopeless Nightmare. And you can see that I'm playing four ofs for all of those cards, and then I'm at I added on a Candy Grapple. Uh, very very strong upgrades to the deck. So I was pretty locked into playing Rakdos from the beginning. Uh, the scariest deck uh, for this one to play is the. Um, it, generally it's Jund, but uh, green-black X decks that um, basically utilize U Urborg uh, repossession to grind out the game and generally Ardent Elementalist to keep cycling out the uh, Urborg. Uh, so Urborg, you know, returns two creatures, or tr actually it's a, a creature and a permanent, uh, and it can gain life, so it's it's the engine in the late game. And as in Explorer Popper, Standard Popper has limited uh, graveyard hate. That was really, really helped out by the printing of Torch the Tower. Um, and so that's why instead of playing the grindy deck, I'm playing this aggro deck um, and hoping that Torch the Tower is enough to control Arden Elementalist loops. Um, and that's why in the sideboard, I'm also playing uh, four Debt to the Commies and four Rotten Reunions. Um, in the debt commies, it, it works against big creatures, but mostly it's for the exile. Um, Anoint with Affliction obviously doesn't hit uh, Ardent Elementalist, but it can hit the other creatures that, that they're trying to bring back. So again, uh, a lot of conceits to try to stack my deck with some Graveyard Hate. Then there's a pretty good uh, mono white value deck, uh, just playing a bunch of cards that ETB and draw a card. Uh, the issue with that deck is that they um, are all one toughness, so you just have to play a couple Wraths to draw toward and just hope to survive the Onslaught long enough to um, Wrath their board. Um, but anyway, so obviously I'm playing this deck because I think it's the strongest, and I think it's the strongest uh, because of these 12 cards, exper or, well, the three cards, Experimental Synthesizer, Reckless Impulse, and Runs Resolve. Uh, nowhere else do you get um, such efficient card advantage spells. And then this is basically a Moldrifter for four mana. Uh, obviously, you don't want to be casting it all at once, so you split up the cost. Um, so it's just an awesome card, other than making your deck have to um, have low mana value. Uh, so the goal is to be able to play this uh, a Synthesizer on turn three, and so that's why I've restricted myself to only one and two drops. Um, so uh, red and black are deep enough that I think that I'm not making really any conceits in the cards that I'm playing uh, instead of playing stronger cards. Um, and then obviously with 12 draw spells, I am not going to run out of gas, even though everything costs nothing. Um, so yeah, um, Flame Breather for the reach at the end of the game. I, I cut all of the, I used to be playing Lightning Strikes and other spells that deal damage to face. Um, you know, you kind of feel like you need that with um, when you're playing Synthesizer. Um, like, you don't want to have to uh, play this and hit a removal spell that you can't play. It's kind of like the issue with Cascade as well, right? You, you don't really want to play uh, cards that are like removal spells with Cascade because um, then if the opponent doesn't have any creatures, then it's it, the, the, the card you get off of it is dead. Um, I think uh, Torture Tower and Strangle are just so good that you want to play them anyways. Um, there is a creatureless poison deck, um, which um, I think I, I'll have no trouble with. Uh, the, this Again, poison struggles with um, this amount of card advantage. Um, so I, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> um, one thing I was playing with and trying to make work was the uh, Eight Wrath Poison variant, where you play a creature list and then you use the package of and the festivities, um, and you already dead to uh, clean up creatures. 
Um, but again, I, I really want the um, exile effect of Torch the Tower. Um, so I ended up playing this. Yeah, that deck did get a little bit of an upgrade with Candy Grapple, and it can play Torch as well in, in, um, in the main deck or in the sideboard. Um, but um, yeah, I, I just thought um, being aggro was was the way to go. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> and so Endless is organizing the game, and we matched up with him in the first game. So let's get on in the game. So Endless is probably going to be in... Um, on a control deck of sorts. Uh, so, um, I would probably put him on um, playing the, uh, the the Urborg Repossession deck that I was talking about. So, it's probably going to be a little bit of a tough matchup. But Endless does like playing Azorius, but I just don't see much draw in playing Azorius. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's playing it. So, I definitely wouldn't expect him to be on another aggro Rakdos deck. Um, I still think being on the play is fine. Okay, this is a fine hand versus aggro or control. Um, so, um, I do get three damage in by doing it this way. Okay, so he's on... Ooh, that was an awesome draw. Uh, not because I'm going to be able to trigger it, likely. Um, it's just a uh, way to use my one mana. Let's go ahead and get my other black land. So it, this is mostly a red deck. Um, he's all the card advantage is red, and then it just uses the efficient uh, uh, black cards. Okay... Um, against, okay, so he's Esper, um, let's see, over time, do I think Batter Fist or Flame Breather will do more damage? I think actually Batter Fist will do more damage. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack. See, so has any flash, flash stuff? Okay. All right. So, do I want to get another batter fist in play or my flame breather now? They seen his deck. F four mana. He's likely to have the bounce guy, but he doesn't have anything to bounce right now. So I think my batter fist can get in another turn. And then I can flame breather. Maybe that was the time to uh, land the flame breather. Yeah, so. So he's playing Esper Bounce. Okay, so uh, that card is a little bit of a sticky issue for my deck. Drawing a land there was great. And uh, a sack land is even nicer. Okay. Yep. So now I expect the bouncer to come into play, so let's get down my uh, flame breather for some consistent damage. So next turn, I'm probably gonna start with the Reckless Impulse, and then I'll decide if I want to attack in toward his uh, his uh, three floor, three four. The three two doesn't scare me though. The three four does. Yeah. All right. All right. With one mana up, one white mana, not two. Oof, that was a great draw. Okay. Um. So, let's see, I can attack in with everything, and then, uh, attack in and then strangle the attendant. Uh, let's see, six, 
seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine damage. Uh, I'm just thinking of what to. Uh, I think I do it this way. I think I put him dead. Um, Miscalculated that. I th I think I should have uh, I should have uh, tapped out my black and uh, deal with his creature. Or I mean, yeah, should should have should have strangled his attendant and attacked in. Okay. Now oh, that's game. So it exemplified the weaknesses of, uh, okay. All right, Flame Breather doing, doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, so I really need uh, stuff that gets rid of four toughness creatures. So this is a liability piece. I need to cast it the turn that he casts his. Um, so actually, I think I play the end of facilities to bump up my guys. Um, don't think there's much graveyard recursion in Esper. And I'm definitely not sure, and he might not only be Esper. Annihilating Glare is reasonable. Um, so I, I think for that reason, because his guy makes a token and I need to have the Kami to do anything, I think I just go ahead and not play that. All right, cards that are bad. Uh, Strangle It's probably not where I want to be. Want some instant speed stuff. Although if I'm bringing in the end of festivities and trying to uh, trying to triple kill something to combo with my end of festivities, anyway, I think that's fine. I still have plenty of stuff that will combo with the festivities. Or maybe maybe I dump the torches and play the strangles. And just the more consistent spell. If I'm thinking that the graveyard is not going to be a resource for him, I guess he can be playing the blood tokens. Yeah, never mind. He can be playing. Uh, he can be playing a uh, uh, blood fountain. Blood fountain is the card. So I think uh, I'll keep the torches. Um, I just have to uh, turn them on. Blood fountain. Yep. So winning winning game one really helps uh, because both of these matches are going to be really close where um, if he ever gets to turn the corner, he'll probably be able to close out the game. If I can keep up enough pressure to prevent that from happening, then I'll be able to finish the game. So it's, I just basically have a clock. Okay, this is a great hand because these two are good clocks. Just the unfortunate part of being on the draw. And I don't think there's any rush to uh, play out the Flame Breather. Um, I don't think he's going to be playing much counter spells, so I don't think that's a concern. Uh, I'll go ahead and get a Swamp with this one. Okay. This is just looking not really good for me since I'm going to be able to attack for six if he doesn't have any removal spells. Yep. Let's go ahead and get. Um, I have a mountain in hand. I think I'll go ahead and get a swamp. Okay. 
Let's do this main phase. Okay, so next turn, synthesizer into impulse. Um, I don't think I want impulse right now. So let's go ahead and just get a little bit more value out of my last runner. Okay, this turn I'm going to be a little bit tight on mana. But that's a good thing. <laughs> Tight on mana because you're playing uh, two draw twos for for mana. And then just right as he shut down my attacks, might even be reasonable to uh, just crack the synth so that my Blast Runner can get in. Uh, hmm. I mean, it's one damage. Wow, that was a good draw. Oh wait, then when I can't play the... So I dump one impulse. I think that's fine. So that was a bad fetch of the swamp earlier in the game. So it's just something that can get back to bite you um, if you make mistakes like that, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so, um, so I think at this point the threat is the uh, flame breather rather than the the blast runner. I don't I don't think it's likely that the blast runner is going to be able to finish the game. Um, it, it's done its job. It's gone in twice, or maybe even three times. So it's plenty plenty good for a one drop. Okay, can I play? I don't have any instant red spells, so or black spells, so I wouldn't have been able to play it. All right. So do I want to crack it right now? Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I do, uh, get it, get in, get it in, get my Blast Runner in. That's pretty much game. Yep, so he's, he's playing red, um, splash with his, uh, Prophetic Prism, so... If I do lose this game, which it's looking increasingly unlikely to lose this game, um, so do I just impulse, get one more damage, or do I blast runner? Uh, so he's gonna take out my flame breather. Now I think I get one more attacker into play. Really put him to the task of. So he has to answer the Flame Breather, and then he has to answer three attacking creatures, and then two possibly with Menace. I don't know if I'll be able to trigger the Blast Runners, but if I do, I think that's game. So sanctify. I can I can draw something that can make it worth it. Um, my my instant speed exile. So let's see. Oh wait, he's. I, I thought I had the other one in play. All right, view battlefield does one damage, possibly two. Um, I don't think that's where I want to be. I'd, rather, I'd much rather just draw into another Flame Breather off the top. Yep. So, so uh, as I spoke about, okay. So, um, I think I'm going to be short on red. So I think I go ahead and do that. Uh, Torch can trigger my uh, Blast Runners, and then that should be lethal. Uh, yep. So, this one. Okay, so bargain you I like my plan to uh, tap my black. Yep. All right. It's pretty pretty quick 2-0. Like I said, it was gonna be quick uh, if I was gonna win, and and if it went longer, he was about to have his engine online of his repossession. Um, but yep, yeah, GG's, see you for the next round.